but in common they'll both with des o'connor at eight but now we're going to hear some more of those city sounds <laughs> Welcome to City Sounds, our competition for musicians who live within the Anglia Television reception area. We have five more acts for our judges to criticize, compliment, and maybe even congratulate. And we're going to kick off this evening with a group who come from Northampton. They're called Ten Towers, and this is their own composition, I Belong. <laughs> Northampton then, that was Ten Towers with one of their own songs, I Belong. Before we have our judges' assessment on them, let's meet our panel of judges tonight. Firstly, we have record producer and record label manager, Steve Rowland. Kenny Lynch can't be with us, but we're happy to welcome his agent, who handles a host of top variety acts, Alan Field. And finally, a man who's in charge of finding new talent for a major record company in London, Gordon Charlton. They are our judges. <laughs> Steve, let me ask you first what you made of Ten Towers. Well, they have a very nice, powerful sound. Lead singer has an exceptionally good face. Looks like a pop star. I think they have a chance. Really okay. do. Right. Alan, is it the sort of act that you would find work for easily, Lee, do you think? I think that, um, I think they can easily work a lot of uh, different types of venues around the country. Um, I think from a musical point of view, they, they stand up very well and are very mature. I think they'll have to um, aim at uh, more the, uh, the album market rather than singles. And finally, Gordon. Well, I thought their presentation was brilliant. It had tons of energy, and I felt it really got going. But the one thing that let them down, and I feel like I'm repeating myself because I've said it so many times on this show, is that the song was not good enough. Nowadays, when 
the fact whether you have hits or not is decided on radio airplay you've got to have a killer song and that wasn't it but the presentation was brilliant and i'm sure you'll probably write a killer song one day and uh, then look look to you having hits right good presentation then from our first act ten towers a very different kind of music coming up now from bedford let's welcome rupert cobb's jazz four as they perform dr jazz Give me Dr. Jazz I said he's got what I need I'll say he has Well now when the world goes round And I've got the blues That's the guy that makes me Get out both my dancing shoes Well now the more I get The more I want it seems I'll pay on Dr. Jazz In every one of my dreams Like troubles bound to mix that's the guy that gets me fixed Hello Central, give me Dr. Jazz Some traditional jazz music being played by a young combo from Bedford, Rupert Cobb's Jazz 4. Rupert is just 19. He was the trumpeter. Alan, what did you make of them? I think they're excellent. This is an act I think uh, they'll probably work in show business for as long as they want to, which could be 20, 30 years. Um, they're all very young musicians. I felt that perhaps there was an instrument missing. May I, I, I fancied the, hearing a guitar or something just to give it a little bit of a more fuller sound. But uh, work they will continually. Right. Unusual to find such young musicians playing that kind of music, I would have thought, Gordon. Uh, no, surprisingly not. I think you'll find a lot of uh, pubs and clubs in London. You've got a lot of up-and-coming young jazz musicians. Uh, I think I really enjoyed what they were doing, and I felt that uh, the front guy, he, had, he was a great trumpeter, but he, there needs to be a singer in the band that has a rich, jazzy, soulful voice to complete the co sort of combo. And I think they should concentrate a little on their image, because they're playing a very cool, hybrid sort of music, and they should have a very cool image instead of just having the shirts and the trousers, they should really study the image as well, as well as they've studied the music. But apart from that, they were very, very good. All right, it's worth pointing out they do a lot of gigs, but they are making their television debut tonight. Steve? Well, at the Beat in London, I had a band like that, and they weren't as good as that. I think, uh, having tried to play trumpet myself, I really admire the fellow playing trumpet. Fantastic. Maybe a girl singer, what do you think, Gordon? Uh, yeah, a girl singer Possibly. with a very husky voice. Okay, then. That's Rupert Cobb's Jazz 4. And now we have a contemporary singer-songwriter the sort of music that's been kind of out of vogue in the past couple of years. This is Melvin Ludgate from Dunstable performing one of his songs called Smog City. Sitting waiting for a city bus in London, gotta change my luck. I'm 
miss my friends and I'll miss my mom I'll miss all the city fun in Spark City the chestnuts in Leicester Square and I miss my Coming singer-songwriter from Dunstable, that's Melvin Ludgate. Gordon Charlton, your views, please. Well, uh, speaking as someone who lives in London, I'm not sure I'd miss it that much if I moved away from it, but uh, uh, admirable sentiments. Uh, I think the song had a really nice mood to it, and I think uh, he performed it very well. But I don't feel that the actual content of the song actually had something you could grab onto, not, not a hook or a chorus. And I think you've got to write that sort of thing like Jerry Rafferty did, and then maybe put it with a band, and then perhaps you'll have some success. But I'm sure that... Your sort of act goes down very well in uh, a folk club or something like that. All right, Steve, you have a club of your own in London. Is this sort of music something that you have on stage? Well, we haven't been uh, putting on any folk-type artists, but are you sure you weren't singing about L.A.? Now, L.A. City. is the true smog city, but um, it did have a nice mood, but uh, not strong enough, I don't think, for records, not at this point. And finally, then, Alan Field. Cool. Yes, I'm not as qualified as Steve or uh, Gordon here to, to judge as far as selling records are concerned. I wonder if, um, if this was the best way of um, illustrating what uh, Gordon has to, uh, uh, Melvin, sorry, what, what Melvin has to offer uh, materially. Um, I'd like to hear some more before I really pass true judgment on him. I like what I heard, though. Right, okay, thank you very much. There's more music coming up just around the corner here on City Sound, so stay with us. Back to City Sounds, our music competition where we kick off part two with a songwriter and pianist from Northampton. This is David Moran performing Journey. to 
day When darkness fell I lay and watched the stars And of the many a musician with a very distinctive style, a very talented man from Northampton, David Moran. Steve, what did you make of his music? It's really nice to hear somebody sitting at a good old steam piano and playing and singing, like Elton John revisited. Um, if David is in touch with all the latest synths and keyboards and so on, who knows? Possibly could happen. I'd like to hear some more of his songs, however. I'm not sure about that song, as far as records are concerned. Isn't that interesting? I found the piano sound refreshing because it was... I did very too. different from a lot of the other synthesized music we have. Alan. Yes, I think uh, David can be very proud of himself there. He's a fine musician. I think he's a, as a songwriter, he's shown a lot of uh, promise with that particular song, Journey. I think he's probably very nervous tonight. Uh, and I think as the song went on, he grew in confidence. I feel that he needs to project a little bit more performance. Singing at the piano, uh, you're very much tied and... Uh, You've got to inject something more in your personality to, to come across. I think he needs experience. Right, finally then, Gordon. Well, I thought that as a songwriter, he was brilliant. He, he had a real maturity to his lyrics, which you don't find them now among a lot of uh, young acts. Uh, but I think as a performer, uh, David isn't, basically. Uh, I think his, his performance wasn't entertaining to watch, but it was beautiful to listen to. And I think as a songwriter, there are going to be a lot of publishing companies hot on his heels to sign him. All right, words of praise then for David Moran. And now our final act this evening on City Sounds, the interestingly named President Reagan is Clever. This is a group of Cambridge students, and they're going to perform one of their own songs called Don't Bring Me Down. <laughs>
Well, a lot of energy there from President Reagan is clever. Alan Field, did you enjoy them? Very much so. Um, a lot of energy is right. They uh, certainly know how to perform. And this comes across uh, across the footlights, as they say. It makes us all feel happy and, in, uh, and we're enjoying it. I'm not sure that the song there was particularly strong and, and memorable, but um, given half a chance, I think they could happen. Right. They've been together about a year. Gordon? Definitely a lot of commitment there. I really, really enjoyed that. That came over very, very well. But the faults with a band are they don't look right. They don't look... I don't feel that en what they are wearing represents them as people. So I don't think what they're wearing represents extent. I think they've just dressed up nice for the show. And I, th I think they look naff. But once they've sorted that out, they'll make great rattles. The vocals sounded good. The song was good. And I enjoyed it. Right, so just, just down to the dress. That was the thing that yeah. disappointed you slightly. All right, Steve. Funny you should say that, Gordon. That's uh, about the dress. Uh, the other thing that worries me is, don't you get electrocuted with uh, bare feet? So saying that, I love things that are energetic. Great, fellas. Right, from our dedicated followers of fashion then on the judging panel, let's remind ourselves of all the acts that we've seen on City Sounds tonight. From Northampton, Ten Towers. From Bedford, Rupert Cobb's Jazz Four. From Dunstable, Melvin Ludgate. From Northampton, David Moran. And from Cambridge, President Reagan is clever. Gordon Charlton is the chairman of our judging panel tonight. So, Gordon, have you reached a decision? Yes, we have. Uh, it all boiled down to two factors, performance and quality of songs. And it was really neck and neck. I can't overemphasize that. But at the end, by a short whisker on, on the strength of their performance, we have to say that we thought the winners were President Reagan is clever. Well, congratulations then to President Reagan is clever. They are our fifth round winners, and we'll be back with another competition for you to watch and hopefully enjoy right here on City Sounds next Monday night. Thanks again to our judging panel and to you for watching. Bye for now.
go on with a piece of paper now. 